Once again Lena had the Rod Laver Arena crowd on its feet, roaring a circumflex this time with laughter. Her encore to a 7-6-3-6-0 win over Dominika Sabolkova in the Australian Open title match Saturday night made her even more popular at Melbourne Park, where Shady lost two finals in the previous three years. So she paid her supporters back with one of the best of her improv stand-up routines. First she thanked her agent A Circumflex for making me rich, A Circumflex, then her coach Carlos Rodriguez and then her husband, Shen Zhang A Circumflex her former coach and constant traveling companion. A Circumflex thanks for him give up everything just traveling with me to be my hitting partner, fix the drinks, fix the racket A Circumflex so thanks a lot, you're a nice guy, A Circumflex, she told Shan in a rare public compliment, pausing for the laughter. A Circumflex also you are so lucky to find Emmy. A circumflex. Lee, who will turn 32 next month, is the oldest woman as champion in Australia in the open air. She did not see age as a barrier, obviously, replying to a question on the topic with a smile and an opinion. A circumflex. Yeah, I'm not old. A circumflex. A circumflex. Yeah, start of tournament. Everybody talking about the age. I would like to say age is nothing. A circumflex, she said. A circumflex still can win the Grand Slam. So pretty happy about my age. I got more experience on the court. A circumflex. Lee lost Australian Open finals to Kim Kleisters in 2011 and to Victoria Azarenka last year, when she twisted her ankle twice in the second and third sets and needed a medical timeout after hitting her head on the court. In between, she won the 2011 French Open in one of the many first Chais established for Chinese tennis. Yet it was a defeat that almost had the biggest impact on her career, with heavy criticism in the domestic media following a second round loss at last year's French Open sending her to the verge of retiring. Rodriguez, who previously worked with Justine Hannon, had to talk Lee into playing Wimbledon, encouraging her to just see how she progressed at the All England Club before making such a big career decision. She responded by reaching the quarterfinals at Wimbledon, the semi-finals at the US Open and now breaking her drought in Australia.